so now that we've chilled our wart, um, we don't have many steps left uh, for our fermentation. Um, all we've got to do is take our chilled wort and um, go ahead and place this into our fermenter. Before we put the wort into our fermenter, we want to make sure that our fermenter is sanitized. I've still got this uh, sanitary solution in here from um, back when, in the very beginning when we were sanitizing everything. So I'm going to give this a good couple of shakes and then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to preserve this fluid at the end because this is going to come in handy um, you know, for continued sanitization of the overall process which I'll show you. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hand over this and with a couple of vigorous shakes um, that pretty much puts us where we need to be so now this liquid we want to keep uh, you know hang on to and um, I'm gonna throw this into a bowl I'm going to make sure that I've emptied all of the sanitizer out of here. We've got our um, tubing sitting in a sanitizer solution. In addition to that, we've got our um, fermenter, which is our, our glass fermenter here that was provided by the Brooklyn Brew Kit. And then in addition to that, I've got my own personal uh, funnel. It's probably a little bit too small for what we're doing here but I'm going to try and take this and then per the directions of the, the site I'm going to use this I'm going to place the funnel on top and then I'm going to pour all of our um, uh, existing wort or aka um, all of the liquid that we have left that's uh, about to be turned into beer uh, I'm going to pour that through here to just filter out the last little bit of grains and um, and then whatever we end up with in this glass container, that's where we're gonna turn into beer. Okay, I've got my brew ghost here in the kitchen with me, and I'm gonna go ahead and take my wort and pour it into my fermenting glass container. Uh, ghost told this here. <laughs> um, so here we go. Careful. I don't have very good views, so stop me if this is going pretty poorly. Thanks to straining, we kept all this nasty gritty stuff out of our beer. Um, and what we've got in our fermenter, we are not quite near the uh, one gallon mark. You know, as you can probably see on the counter, I've kind of spilled a bunch as I've poured it in. Um, and, you know, there's certainly a bunch that has gone away to, due to evaporation during the process. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, fill this up to make sure that I'm, I'm, I'm up to the one gallon mark. got to throw our yeast in, then our lid, then our um, blow off too. So let's uh, go ahead and throw the yeast in. Okay, cut open. So right here we're doing what's called pitching the yeast. Oh crap. <laughs> Screw the cap onto here, cover up 
the top of the the, the fermenter here uh, and then boy I'm just gonna try and give it a shake and hope nothing comes out and then I'm just gonna take one end of this uh, blow off tube and I'm gonna wrap it around here a little bit and then I'm gonna insert about an inch of it into our uh, fermenting tank and the other end of it is down here in our um, uh, uh, our little blow off bowl here. We're gonna put this in a dark place. After about three days of this, we're gonna put on this guy, the airlock, instead of this tube. Um, so we'll re replace this with this. Once we spend about two weeks in a dark place with this guy on, then we'll be able to be in bottling. So. Um, Next step will be showing you the bottling of this.